welcome foot travelers i'm micah and i'm simon we are back in washington state and in this episode we're headed to the east side of seattle to a city named bellevue this is in downtown bellevue to a restaurant called the dollar shop yeah it's a hot pot restaurant and it's actually i would call like one of the higher end hot pots um there's an episode we did over at the x pot located in las vegas and that is also a high-end hot pot restaurant um one of the things I really do enjoy about Hot Pot is the fact that you can kind of uh, slow down your, your meal. You slow down because you're cooking the meats or vegetables or seafood as you're going along. So um, you do want to be able to kind of uh, allocate a, a good amount of time to kind of sit down and enjoy the meal. Yeah, Simon. So one you mentioned that uh, Simon said was as a high-end Hot Pot. Uh, so a lot of Hot Pot restaurants, they are kind of all you can eat for the lower end. And since this is a high-end one, uh, you, everything is elevated carts that's cost a little bit more and it's also a little bit more premium too in terms of the cuts of meats and everything that they have uh, so one thing with hot pot is 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 a really nice uh, way to spend your time with your friends and family and really just catch up and slow down on your busy days a couple uh, information about uh, dollar shop is uh, they have two lo- one location in Bellevue two locations in New York two in Canada one in Richmond and one in Burnaby and one in uh, Australia and one thing I did want to point out here is uh, when you show up to a restaurant the entire party has to be present to be seated and uh, we did make reservations uh, for this restaurant as they do get really really busy yeah and as Micah uh, said earlier you do have to make reservations and as you saw earlier in the video there's actually a location where there's some seating and a TV you can watch and kind of wait to kind of collect your party and everything before everybody gets there before your reservation time. So they do provide a, an area that you can wait for, which is actually pretty pretty nice spot to, to wait for. Um, and as you can see also the interior wise, you kind of walk through and they do have a section where it's kind of this I guess quote unquote uh, open kitchen where they're preparing all the different meats as they cut through and you can see different uh, vegetables and every uh, other ingredients wrapped up uh, getting ready for the meal for that uh, for that night. Yeah so starting off here I got the uh, oxtail and tomato soup uh, broth uh, for my choice of broths here. They actually have quite a bit of broth and that's kind of usually my go-to uh, broth because I, I just love oxtail so much. I think for the tomato flavor and the oxtail, it's a really, really good uh, combination. How about you, Simon? For me, I actually had the Exquisite Silver Soup, which is probably one of their most popular soups that they provide. Um, it actually, what, what's included in that soup is a, a pork leg bone chicken, Genoa ham, south wind marinated pork, rice wine, uh, white pepper, a pork tripe, a goji berry, and a jujube. And so all these different ingredients kind of placed into the soup itself. It just really changes the dynamic of the soup and it has a very nice flavor. And so when you dip in the uh, other ingredients to cook along, it just enhances the flavor even more. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite soups that I've had. Yeah, that all sounds really good. I, I've never had that soup that Simon uh, uh, usually orders, but I'll definitely have to try that next time. Uh, so some of the items that we ordered here was uh, Karabuda uh, pork belly, the daily uh, fresh cut uh, thick uh, beef, uh, noki mushroom, quail egg, uh, black beef tripe, handcrafted noodles, and then we got the uh, shrimp pate and also this uh, deluxe uh, seafood platter. Yeah, the the, the deluxe uh, platter it actually includes quite a, a few ingredients and it's I think one of their uh, trademarks. Where as you see in the video, they'll be pouring in um, some water to kind of uh, get the smoke to come out. Um, but that one um, it actually has uh, abalone, some scallop, um, some beef cubes shrimp and also some additional uh, shrimp pate which we did have earlier also yeah i think that one is one of our favorite uh platters to order whenever we come here and oh and also to mention uh the ordering uh, layout for this restaurant is a little bit different too and a little bit more high-end uh, they give you a tablet so with a lot of pictures too of course so you can kind of see what you want to order and pretty much just uh, select everything that you want then hit checkout and then uh, it'll be in their system 
and they also have like this uh, uh, sauce bar in, in the corner where you can make your own sauce if you want additional sauces and, or they also have a server who come by to the table and uh, mix your sauce in front of you and to kind of piggyback on Micah there um, the service is actually very very good they'll, they'll come over and they watch through everything um, especially if your soup starts to run low they'll refill it and of course they'll ask you do you want more soup and you know of course you can say yes or no but uh, as he mentioned earlier they do make a sauce for you so you don't have to do that yourself if you don't want to and the sauce that they do make is generally their their special sauce um, ones where they kind of add certain ingredients and they'll ask you if you want certain things um, included into it so you don't necessarily have to go up and make your own stuff um, but service wise yeah they're very very good that, and that's one of the reasons why uh, we really like this restaurant is uh, the service, of course, um, and also definitely the food. The food is really, really good. Like they, like I mentioned earlier, everything is really fresh and everything is uh, uh, nicely cut. So it makes it the whole experience just so much better. And, and with all those ingredients, it's just a variety of ingredients as well. You know, the mixture of uh, the vegetables, the the different meats, and then also the, the seafood. So you kind of have this really wide array of, of food to kind of, you know, cook into your pot. And you get that, that similar flavor from the soup. But at the same time, um, there's a difference because you are eating a different type of uh, uh, meat or a different type of vegetable. So there are little changes in it. You know, at times it can be subtle, sometimes it can be a little bit more, but, um, you know, having all those different things just kind of creates this meal that is, uh, I don't know, in my mind, it's just, it, it kind of opens up a lot of different possibilities because you can do a lot of different combinations, um, try a little different things and kind of test things out to see how well things go together. So it's always a, a fun way to kind of, you know, make your meal and then make it a little bit more enticing because, you know, there's a, a lot of diminishing returns where, where a lot of places where you know you've, you've eaten something, you take that first bite, it's really great. But they do say you know after that first bite, every other bite is diminished. But when you kind of do it this way, it kind of helps to kind of create that next bite. You know, still be uh, pretty exciting. So that's one aspect that I do really enjoy. Yeah, that, that's a great point, Simon. Uh, yeah, ha having uh, your own uh, control of uh, how quickly or how uh, you want to eat your meal is, is definitely a, a great choice and uh, another thing I, I wanted to mention is uh, there are controls underneath uh, the table for each individual pot so if the soup does get too high and you want to just focus more on just drinking the soup rather than eating the meal um, you can do that too you can turn it down and, or if it's cooking too fast uh, that's definitely an option uh, but usually for hot pot is uh, you would cook everything and as you're cooking everything you would drink the soup a little bit but most people would just fit, wait till the whole thing is done and then uh, drink the soup at the end because then that's when the majority of the flavor will be at for for me the uh exquisite silver soup it, it kind of at, at the beginning it is definitely the lightest but um it does have a lot of flavor to it so um kind of throughout the meal i was just drinking the soup uh, you know uh, as you can see in the video um there's at times where, where i'll be dipping my spoon to go get some of the soup and, and drinking that it's just very very delicious and it's one of the few uh hot pot places where i will pretty much eat a good amount of soup throughout the entire meal there's some hot pot places where i do go and and I'll, I'll sip here and there but i kind of leave majority of the soup just sitting there yeah and uh finishing out the meal uh they always give us uh these uh soft serve ice cream and i think that's a great way to end the meal of course yeah it, it's one of the first where i've never ran into just quite that one it's a very simple way to kind of finish off a meal you know just a a some ice cream and you know of course they'll ask you if you want it um, before they bring it but you know overall the the restaurant is really good it's one of my favorite hot pot places and so definitely uh, check out the dollar shop or dollar shop depending on how how you've heard it um, very great place to have a, have a good meal and to wrap up the episode is the notable for the episode 
And for a dollar shop, uh, the app, the notable that I chose was the Exquisite Silver Soup, a incredibly complex yet delicious broth that I would definitely recommend if you are trying dollar shop for the first time, choose this broth. You will not be disappointed with all the tasty different uh, ingredients within the broth itself. Um, definitely a recommendation. If you've enjoyed the content you've seen, don't forget to support the channel and hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see additional pictures of food and our travels, go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. And thanks for watching.